Yo, it's your boy Adam. I'm going to be showing you today how you can use the in game party chat feature on the PlayStation 4 to talk with your mates and include their voice with yours on stream. Right, so before we get started, if you'd like to help support my channel, help it grow, then please do by subscribing and also liking this video. So, the reason that this issue exists is because Sony or PlayStation refused to do a simple update, meaning that you can only you're only allowed one audio device going through your HDMI at a time essentially. And Xbox basically fixed this by doing a quick update. There are many sort of alternatives that you might have found on YouTube. I've seen videos where people are using five different Y auxiliary splitters, which is a bit crazy. I've seen controllers being plugged into other ones with microphones left hanging. But I believe this is the best and quickest, cheapest also alternative. Right, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is a pair of headphones. Right, and this doesn't matter, with, it doesn't need to be a hundred pound headphones, it, it can be a cheap one or whatever, whatever your preference is, but I recommend for this stage using your best sound quality headphones. Right, so what you're gonna need is headphones that have an auxiliary end, a 3.5 mil auxiliary jack on there. And what you're also gonna need is something that it connects to, and this has to be a TV or monitor. It's 2020, so I assume most TVs and monitors do come with an audio output as it's a very basic feature. It's nothing groundbreaking or new. So I'm just gonna put this on just for demonstration purposes. So we're gonna imagine that your headphones are now connected into your TV or monitor. And the second thing you're gonna need is, and there's many ways of, there's many different ones you can use, but I suggest using earphones or, um, yeah, it's either earphones or headphones, but I think earphones are easier personally. So you're gonna need earphones, and I'll show you, this is the PlayStation 1, it's a single earphone with the auxiliary end, and this is gonna plug right into your PlayStation remote. Or the alternative, like I said, is another pair of headphones, and this, this is the same one, it's just got an angled auxiliary end, and that will also, or either plug into your PlayStation controller. Right, so essentially what we've got so far is this, I've got the sound from the game, from the chat, from everything that goes to my TV, it's also going to my ears or my headphones. And the device that's plugged into my controller is gonna act as my microphone. So if I just pop this under my headphones, I'm essentially talking to my mates via this and I'm hearing my friends and the game audio via my headphones. Right, so we need to play around with the settings. There's three essential settings that shouldn't be missed. They're very important. And then we'll touch on to what you also need to speak with your stream as well, not just your mates. Right, so we're gonna go settings, we're gonna go devices, audio devices. And so there's three things we need to look out for on this page. Input device, this should be the only one that's there if you've got it plugged in. So essentially what you're saying is your input device is my single earphone in this case. So I'm using that as my speech, my microphone, and all the sound is coming out to not my headset, it's coming out to the TV, which is going through the TV, through the wire, and into my headphones or into my ears basically. So that's very important that they're both set. Obviously if you have this one ticked, then every time you do unplug and plug your auxiliary then it might change some of your settings that you've seen here I've got all the sounds coming to here which is not what I want so I usually just untick that right that's the first thing the second feature that you need to be aware of is go sharing and broadcasting settings go to audio sharing settings and share party audio and you've got to make sure that this is ticked and the reason for this is if it's not ticked none of your friends even if they allow it on this on their settings it won't share their voice in your stream, in your recording. So make sure that is ticked. And the third feature that is very important and a lot of people do miss is you've got to go to a party. I'm not just sitting here in a party on my own. I'm not that lonely. So we're gonna go party settings. We're gonna to go to allow your voice to be shared. And this is essential for your friends that are in your party chat. They all need to have always allow or allow for current party if they want it temporary that is an essential otherwise you will not be able to hear their voice in your recordings or streams right so now that all of that is set up i assume your game capture is set up you're just waiting to set up your audio 
the last thing you're going to need is another microphone in this case i've just got a i'll just show you it's just a basic microphone it's a usb one it plugs straight into my laptop or into your desktop pc whatever you decide to use so that is going to be your microphone for talking to your stream you've got your small microphone for talking to your friends and then you can hear your game audio you can hear your friends audio through your headphones so essentially you need free audio devices for this but none of them have to be amazing like i said this is probably the most important one because you're going to be hearing everything via this or also your microphone for talking to your stream you want that to be a good quality so that's it for now i hope that was a very quick and easy thank you very much for watching my video if you've got any comments or feedback please write them down below don't forget to like and subscribe until next time it's been your boy safe <laughs>